the women of Maracha, the elders of Maracha, the ghetto people of Maracha, our default. Thank you. Awadi fo. Thank you. Awadi fo angiri. Thank you very much. Awadi fo amboru. Thank you very much. Thank you very 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 much. Our welcome. Awadi fo. Awadi fo amani amboru. 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 Awadi fo Allow me, ladies and gentlemen. To salute these leaders from West Nile. First of all, allow me to salute the daughter of West Nile. Who was the first deputy president under the Pupo Power Movement ma, and ma, even under NUP? Mengu Oko, Ma Mengu Oko, Pupo Power as in the National Unity Platform where he Dr. Lina Zedriga Waru. That Dr. Lina Zedriga Waru. That lady, Okudai, Zambadai, is a woman and a half. Eri Oku, Oku Matulia, Miss Ukwerin. Second, ladies and gentlemen, uh, allow me to salute a leader uh, from Maracha. Maracha His name Irmaru is Honorable Achidri James. Irmaru, I met Achidri James in uh, the parliament. He was NRM. But I don't know how it happened, but we became friends immediately. When we were fighting to save our constitution, even if he was still NRM, Honorable Achidri James stood with the people of Maracha, with the people of Uganda. Honorable Achidri Sondra, pa emi pa Maracha doa diro di amape, so fina pa pa Uganda di piwo rendi. So even if he's running as an independent, that's why you know so special, so easy, but he go corrupti. I want to stand here and ask the people of Maracha to please vote for a man called Achidri James. Also, Papua. And another leader I want to salute is a young leader called Oguzu Lee James. Sorry, he's called, no, he's not a Chidri James. His name is Oguzu Lee Dennis. I don't know if he gets the name Lee from Bruce Lee. But I will tell you a very brief story about Honorable Oguzu Lee We were in parliament together. We were not friends yet. But we were both standing to defend the constitution. Me and the Honorable Oguzuli Dennis, we became friends in prison. When we were fighting to save our constitution, uh, we stood together at Ashopatuelo. Don't run, don't run, don't go. Don't run, don't go anywhere. Don't run, don't go anywhere. And I want to ask those young men not to engage the police. Bobian, move from there. Move away, move back in the dark. I don't want to see anything disorganizing this. Basi, let me just see the ownership of my own crew. 
All of you come back here so we can communicate. I want to ask the head of our security, Comrade Eddie Mutue, to handle the situation and to make sure our people are listening to us attentively. People power! I say we are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. Come back here, let me talk to you now. We, we are, are fighting, fighting for freedom. Yaga, 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 yo. I say we are fighting for freedom. One more time, sing along, yeah. We, we are, are fighting, fighting for freedom. freedom. So I was still telling you. I'm not talking to you, and I'm asking you to listen to me. Because what I am saying here, you are not going to hear it on radio. You are not going to see it on TV. That is why I am asking you who have come here to kindly take the message to everybody. Our detractors are going to try to create a scene so that you don't pay attention to them. But it is very important that we get this message and we send it far and wide. We are not violent. I say it again, we are not violent. We are law abiding citizens. So please don't be violent. And let me also use this opportunity to ask the young people that are riding on border borders. Please don't ride dangerously. Please don't ride on speed. Take care of yourselves because we are going to a new Uganda. In a new Uganda, we want all of you to be alive. Now I was still talking about Honorable Oguzuli. That young man you see there was one of the few people who we sat with when we are standing starting the people power movement. And he's one of the people who encouraged me to run for president. And when we started the national unity platform, the national unity platform, even when everybody joined the national unity platform, Honorable Oguzuli told me and I agreed with him. That we must not look like we came to remove all opposition, but to remove a dictator. Therefore, even if Oguzuli Dennis is running under FDC. I want to kindly ask the people of Maracha to vote for Honorable Oguzuli Dennis. Allow me to invite the Honorable Oguzuli Dennis. So that we can demonstrate to the people of West Nile and the people of Uganda that we are standing together as a generation. If I could actually ask him to translate for me. People power! Our power! 
we want to tell you that this is about change. Orichia, Orio, and Ramamo, Romaro, Chano, Jatani, Mufio. We want to tell you that this is beyond political party. Eyo and Ramano Chazur, they are the party, Mayakuyo. We want to tell you that this is beyond tribe. Eyo and Ramano Chazur, they are the Suru, Nikuyo. We want to tell you that this is beyond religion. Eyo and Ramano Chazur, they are the Suru, is a generational cause. Aleu nyaza directly riji ojatasio. We have been discussing for two years for us to come together as a generation. Eli riamebi abatara ba mango jatari riji anji oteka nkuu duringo neroare. And even if atibiye, atibiye, oritia, orio. Come here, come here, my brother. Let us all stand here as a generation. Honorable Achidri, before you came, I was telling these people that we met in parliament and even if you were still in NRM you were putting the people of Uganda first and you stood strongly and represented the views of the people of Maracha and I was still telling them that even if we are running on different party tickets and that even if you're running as an independent and Oguzuli is running as FDC and I am the president of the National Unity Platform we are all on one mission I say we are all on one mission and the mission is to remove a dictator. And I want to tell the people of West Nile. And the people of Uganda. That when I become president. Do not be surprised to find that my ministers will be coming from different political parties. That is what we are as a generation. And that is what we represent. You can no longer divide us according to political party. You can no longer divide us according to tribe. You can no longer divide us according to religion. We have the same problems. And we all know that there is one solution. I said there is one solution. And that solution is to remove the dictator. And that is exactly what we are going to do. I will not go into the problems that you are facing here in Maracha and the entire West Nile. Because one, there is no time. And I know that these eloquent leaders have been talking to you about the same. The only reason I wanted to make sure I come here and you see me face to face. Is for you to know that I am not scared of Museveni. 
Lozo mena orifuma musaba nsalone ko And I also And I also wanted you to know that we are standing together with these my brothers Ale tava ne lo mena orifuma ko tika mapa tu adi azuruba na tu alo And that we are on the same mission Enyo amane muzo ani are reyo alone But I want to ask you the people of Maracha Ale me ba marcha de ruzi that chagulani obini cannot do it alone Ale yo kene enyo menda wando ndo ya dikon obini chori chini te adule ko Achidri James cannot do it alone Achidri chori chini te adule ko Oguzu Lee Dennis cannot do it alone Oguzu chori ya de mati te adule ko we must do it together Le ame chiti tu alo chori ya de ki Jesus tu alo Salim cannot do it alone. Salim uda wacha ni yari ki yadu leko. Jadribo cannot do it alone. Victor Jadri wacha ni yari ki yadu leko. Jadriga cannot do it alone. Zedriga wacha ni yari mati ki yadu leko. We are only presenting ourselves to lead you to a new Uganda. Ame molo di ame ne mini be yo we ba le be yari maza koba de ro. But at the end of the day, the power is in your hands. Sa shiro ko di ringa mi waro waro mi di embaru mo. We are only servants, but you are the bosses. Amen. Me a tibo. Amen. Ba amadi a zifwa de. I say you are the bosses. Amen. Ba zifwa ba amadi de. Tell your friend we are the bosses. Amen. Ba zifwa ba he. Say again we are the bosses. Amen. Ba zifwa ba he. The reason why Musaveni stops us from talking to you. Is because he knows we are going to tell you that you are actually the bosses. You are the owners of Uganda. And therefore, the leaders should be fearing you, but not you to fear the leaders. You are the ones that put we the leaders in these positions of power. And so we must be your servants. We must fear to annoy you. We must be aware that you can remove us from these positions. Thirty-five years ago, it is the young people of that time that put Museveni in power. Right now, many of them are old people, some are dead. But I know. I know that very many of them are veterans that have not even been paid and compensated. Those who served in UNLA, those who served in NRA, many of them have been forgotten. And all of us have been reduced to being slaves in our own land. But I have news for you, my brothers and sisters, today. You have the power to remove Museven. According According to the Constitution of Uganda, Article number one, the very first article. And my brother Salim is a lawyer, he will bear witness. Article number one of the Constitution says all power belongs to the people. All power, not some power. And that every five years that power goes back to the people and they have the right to choose the leader they want. 
That chance has come to us today. I want to ask all of you to grab that chance and to use that chance. We are not doing this for fun. We are deciding how our lives will be in the next five years. We have a chance to decide how our life is going to be for the next 20, 30, 50 years. That chance is now. I want you to believe that we can do it. That we are capable. Sure, we are very capable. Now, I also want you to know. I want you to know. That in 20 years from now, it is not you that are going to be here, but your children. So what we are doing today is not only for us, but also our children. We are doing this for our mothers and fathers. We are doing this for ourselves and for our children. So I want you to take this election very, very, very serious. I want to ask all of you to make sure that you come out and vote. How many are voters here? How many put out? Now I want to ask you that all those votes should go in the ballot box. Even if you know somebody who is very old or very sick and they cannot carry or walk themselves to the polling station, please help them and take them to the polling station. Please don't say we are too many even if me I don't vote. No, we need every vote. And after voting, please don't go away. Please don't go away. Stay and protect your vote. That is your right. Don't be intimidated. Don't be scared. Let us do this. When you protect that vote, my brothers and sisters, we are going to go in the books of history that we are the generation that removed a dictator. And our country will never be the same. Suru Amadingani did you do Chakwanda Amadingazo Aniada? Tika Tika Ko. We will have the right to represent our people to the fullest. Opani Dinga de Chaya Amadia Patuzu Yu Amadese Azani Yo Bi Amadese. 
everything will no longer depend on the president but on the people. The problems of Maracha as presented by Oguzuli, as presented by my brother Achidri, will be respected to the fullest. Let me repeat this as I end. That we are here as a symbol of unity. I am running on the national unity platform ticket. My brother Achidri is running as an independent. My brother Oguzuli Dennis is running on the FDC ticket. But I want to tell you that for us it's not about us, it is for the people. And that is why they call me Opini. For the people. Thank you very much for listening to us. Yeah, uh, before I conclude, I want to give a chance to my brother Achidri to say something. And I also want to give you assurance that Museveni, because he has no more lies to tell you, he is intimidating people. He is telling people that... Mahmud Leba Fia Chidune, Tadanga Fedleba Chidunico, or Tadan Museveni at the Tarakara, everything is on the cross. I didn't hear my detect, I didn't hear my detect, He is he is intimidating people that after we win him, because he knows we are going to win him, that there will be war. Museveni, there are things on the cross, or Kone, Bazane, can I didn't hear my detect? I want to remind Museveni that back in the days war was for young people to die and for old people to enjoy. But, for, but not anymore. I said not anymore. I know that Museveni, even if he says he's 76, he's over 80 years old. And I know that at this age he cannot even chase a duck and catch it. Museveni! So, even if we are non-violent, even if we are peaceful, even if we are law-abiding, Museveni should not intimidate us. And also I want him to remember, I want him to remember that we are young, we are many, we are strong and we are intelligent. And therefore, even if he is violent, we are going to win him with non-violent because our generation does not believe in killing people, we believe in healing people. Yeah. 
Allow me, my brothers and sisters, to give a chance to Honorable Achidui to just say a little word to you before I conclude. Madi Mudleba for Madi Achidui, Mizizumba, Eliaraka Madi Mundoyo. Orichia! Orichia! Our reform, Mini Mutasio! I thank you for coming. Our reform, Mini Bobby Nilersio! I thank you for loving Bobby. We are going to stop corruption. We are going to stop bad water. We are going to stop lack of medicine in the hospital. We are going to stop poor quality education. We are going to stop discrimination. My people, I want to ask for forgiveness. President Mamumu, President is on his way, but I came a little late. Baby, me They have been scaring you to come here. Mr. President, there have been more people, but they have been scaring people. We know Bob is going to win this election. Marasadia, Bob in Musava Ninde. Bob will beat Musava and Maracha. Marti Rabusalas and the other team. Marti Rabusalas and the other team. I move in the villages. I know about this to the best of my knowledge. Ama campaign yero rikokoro. We are doing campaigns without fear. Sir, my beloved teachers, I think we have had you. Our moment is now to offer leadership in this country. Aka teachers, as you come, I think I change warrior. If we are not the leaders, when shall we become the leaders? Eli kana ni tau anya muluti bama badiri. Full stop. We are putting an end to 35 years of corruption in this country. Our reform. I thank you. I follow the Bobby Pier Parliament, yeah. I make Bobby in Parliament. I support Boro Ayota Mamele Uganda. This we stick together and strong to protect our constitution. I pray and Ro Amarufi Bukumba Uganda Mamele Abuti. Today our name is in the book of history as protectors of the constitution of the public. I come from Bobby Pier Oro Sandele. I make Chori Taro Museven Matia Uadaku. If we wanted money, we would not challenge Museven. We are not interested in money. We want a better Uganda. Where our children will thrive. God created us in this place, not Museven. I want to invite all of you to come on the 14th to vote in big numbers. We should take Uganda in our hands. I thank you for listening to me. Sir, I thank you, Achidri. Yeah, now before I conclude, the mission is not only for men. This mission is not only for men. Women have a very important mission. They have a very important role. So I want to ask Honorable Bako Judith. The, the incoming woman MP of Maracha. To say a word or two before we leave and head to Koboko.
the woman who never want to see the child and then baby die. I thank you, Bako. Now you know <laughs> that we are fighting for those that are here with us already born. And we are also fighting for the unborn. And we are praying, Honorable Bako Judith. That our little angel is born in a new Uganda. Uganda, And we know that in that new Uganda, that child will only hear about the dictatorship of Museveni in the books. And that baby, that baby, that baby, that little child will tell his or her friends that the mother was pregnant but went on the front line to remove a dictator. Thank you very much. Now we are heading to Koboko.